Mark Twain once said that travel is fatal to prejudice, bigotry, and narrow-mindedness. And many of our people need it sorely on these accounts. Broad, wholesome, charitable views of men and things cannot be acquired vegetating in one little corner of the earth all one's life. And today in West Virginia, I was able to experience a new location, meet some new people, and actually have my eyes opened to what I can do to help individuals in their situation. Today started by helping out in the Zara House. The Zara House organization have been getting their hands dirty as they work to provide a safe environment where survivors of human trafficking and sexual exploitation can escape. The idea became close to co-founder Ariel Wagner's heart overseas after a trip to Thailand eight years ago, where human trafficking of children and women were brought to her attention. She has since made it her mission to raise awareness in the U.S., traveling the country for three months and gathering volunteers and funds in order to begin building homes for survivors. They have routine, they have a program, they have mentorship, they have counseling. She hopes this is only the beginning of Zara House's journey to provide a family environment and love to victims that need it most. That is what we're here to do, is just pour truth into them and, and love. Reporting in McDowell County, Regina Gonzalez, 59 News. They are looking to open the doors by early October and would love to expand the locations of their homes to as far away as Hawaii. We've been helping out at the Zara House. We're going to be meeting with the School of Life in a little bit, setting up missions organizations to help people. And oh my God! This is, this is actually called Miracle Mountain. And we've been driving up here for a while. It just keeps going. So cool. And then finally, we visited School for Life. Here at School for Life, where they have teams stay in an old high school they purchased and have refurbished so that missionaries or students on mission can come and breathe life into the city of Gary, West Virginia. industry left town, the mines dried up, and the houses that were built all started to fall apart at the same time, and you're left with these chimney stacks, and that's all that's remaining of some homes. I realized that we need to get out of our comfort zone if we want to be the kind of people that encourage others, that build something that lasts, that don't just stay trapped where we are, but reach out and help one another. So today I want to challenge you. How can you help other individuals? How can you get out of your comfort zone and, and look to people who need your help? How can you set up a plan for the future so that you aren't only thinking about yourself? 